Good morning, this is Mr. Riley and I would like to demonstrate on how to look up the guided pathway. So starting here at the Augusta Tech website, we'll go to this green bar up top, go to Academics, go to Academics Home, scroll down to Programs of Study and underneath that you will see Programs of Study listing A to Z. Click on that. And you'll see the alphabet here with the programs of listing. Now you can look up, you know, agriculture, business, computer science. I'm going to demonstrate networking. So just, you know, choose the one that you want to do. And then it'll show everything that begins with N. And I'm going to come down here to networking. We have two of them here, degree or diploma. I'm going to go ahead and choose degree. And then this gives you the overview of the uh, Networking Specialist Associate degree. And it's 70 credit hours, it takes five terms, and you can start any of the, uh, any of the entrance dates will be any of the terms, any of the semesters. So cur Curriculum Guide gives you a description of all the classes required. 15 credit hours of general ed and 55 credit hours of occupational courses so and how many credit hours they are and, and alike so what happens here is that this is not the correct order to take them in that would be under the guided pathway under the guided pathway this is the recommendation and the sequence you need to take your classes in so first semester you would take like computer concepts you know comp 1000 introduction to computer literacy your English class your math class and then move on. Now we do have a lot of students transferring from other colleges and they may already have all their general ed classes. We write these guided pathways to, to we write our schedules to match the guided pathways so it works smoothly. So you may not need to take a full load each time. So you want to make sure you uh, get your classes in the right order so you will uh, you can finish on time and the classes will be available each semester. So how do you register for classes here? Let me demonstrate that. Uh, go to the Augusta Tech website and then at the top right corner you'll see Smart Web. Click on that. Then you can click on Banner Web on the next page and from there you go ahead and log in with your student email and uh, your whatever password they give you. And then on the next page, then you can click on student services and this will come up. And then you have four tabs, registration, student records, where you can update your student records, check on your financial aid, and also look at degree works for planning. But underneath registration, you can check your status, print your schedule, look up classes to add, um, see what registration fees you owe. You can select a term. What we're going to look at is add drop classes. So if you want to add classes, click on there. You select your term. And then you'll, this, uh, you'll get this page where you can actually put in those CRNs that I spoke about. Each class has its own CRN, basically. So if you have multiple classes, you know, teaching the same class like a the same math, you know, five math classes or five computer concepts class. We have to, you know, keep them different and we do that by the CRNs and you can actually, that's what you type in here. So you're in the right one at the right time. And you can actually, if you forgot what you were doing, you can click on class search here and then choose your subject area. Like I chose CIST, Computer Information Systems. And then it has here and you can view the different sections and then get the CRNs for that and I'll show you the time and all that. So hope this helps. If you have questions, check with your advisor. Have a great day.